All right, fellas, welcome back. Initially for today, I had a different video planned, but my good friend Optimus happened to drop this across my timeline on Twitter. I took one look at this story and I thought to myself, man, this is just filled with the exact type of things that we'd be making fun of out here on the channel. Females lying, acting like hypocrites, men doing creepy things, getting caught in 4K, all the rest. So I figured, why not just divert topics and go ahead and let's just make fun of it. If you're new, make sure you subscribe right now or else you have a very high chance of having a small dick. Also, turn your goddamn notifications so that you can be a part of the buzz every single time a new video goes live. And last but not least, of course, watch the entire video. Don't be a bitch. So this TikToker here, this lying, dishonest TikToker matched with the actor Matthew Perry on a dating app called Raya. I don't know if you guys have heard of it. Raya is a dating app for rich people. That is like legitimately the pitch of it. You have to be rich. You have to be some sort of internet famous to even join. There's actually an application process to even get on the app. So it's super exclusive. You know, it's just so cool to be on there. Bunch of LA celebrity Hollywood motherfuckers, you know, smelling their own farts, doing the whole thing. You know the deal. Nothing that us regular, normal peasant people would ever know anything about. Well, this TikToker who was 19 years old at the time matched with the actor Matthew Perry, who is from the show Friends if you guys haven't heard of him. He's 51 years old. Now, I don't really think he did anything wrong in this scenario. At least there's no evidence that he actually did. It's really just another case of old rich guy who wants to bang, you know, 19, 20 year old hot chicks. Not saying it's right, but it doesn't really matter. It's legal and it happens every single day and sugar daddies do exist in this we know. The TikToker is this very talented individual right here, Kate Harrelson. So I looked up her social medias and I was surprised to see some of these numbers here. She has 19 19,000 followers on TikTok. Now, I'm not saying 19,000 people isn't a lot of people, but based on what I've seen in my own research, having 19,000 followers on TikTok would maybe be something like the equivalent of having, say, a thousand subscribers on YouTube, right? I don't know if I would actually go ahead and say you're famous enough to be on this very, very exclusive dating app that's really hard to get into. However, scrolling through the Instagram feed here, I think we could see why she was accepted into the app, you know, because really think about it, right? A bunch of old horny dudes on an app, very, very exclusive, everyone's really rich. Who would fit the profile of a perfect person to let on there to match with people like that? 19 year old hot blonde chicks with lip fillers. Those are the exact type of people that these old 50 year old guys are looking for. Just as a side note, when did 19 year olds start looking like this guys you know what i'm saying 19 years old that's one year out of high school now who out there has graduated high school recently and you know people that look like this because i can tell you for sure for goddamn sure when i graduated high school and went to college there was nobody that looked like this whatsoever and i think it's worth pointing out instagram and influencers is it's just bad man i mean i would have never thought that 10 years ago that a lot of girls would think they have to look this way but that's what happens when you sit in your room all day looking at social media instagram and tiktok and you see all these girls that are just getting famous for doing literally nothing speaking of getting famous for doing nothing let's just take a look at some of her tiktoks here <laughs> All right, so like most TikToks, this is about a seven second video of absolutely nothing. Me walking into class after spring break, still recovering from lipo. Where's the talent in this video again? You can either be a bitch or you can be a bitch. <laughs> nope, not seeing anything of the type. Maybe that was a bad example. Let's take a look at some of the other ones. Good morning, hookers. So uh, we're gonna vlog my day. This is the first Sunday I've woken up in so long and like not been hungover and it feels amazing. <laughs> I always start my day with making my bed. I'm on a little neighborhood walk, getting some steps in, getting some fresh air in. I literally go for walks in my slippers. I'm having a glass of wine. Wait a sec. You are not old enough to drink. Hold up. Let me just log this in my records here. Got to do a quick Google search. Los Angeles police department. It's like 1 p.m. Don't judge me. Yeah, I'm gonna go shopping. This is my outfit. A little Versace top, jeans, Versace bag, heels. It's Donatella's birthday, so it's only appropriate to go full Versace today. I just got the bag because I can, and it's Donatella's birthday, so it's all right. Okay, we're gonna do a little unboxing haul. Okay, so I bought some shoes. Oh! These are them, just super cute, super classic. I thought they would go with everything. I thought it was so nice to spoil myself. They match my purse perfectly, and I just, I love them. 
Now I'm just gonna drink wine and watch Desperate Housewives and relax the rest of the day, so. Wow absolutely compelling video what a crazy day there's one thing i noticed though there was never a part where she went to work do you guys pick up on that i wonder why that is i mean i'm telling you right now if i had to vlog my day this is what it would go like right okay 7 a.m wake up miserable 9 a.m log on to work 10 a.m still working 11 a.m still working so on and so forth all the way until 5 p.m where i finally sign off work unless i'm working overtime that day in which case you could count me working until about 7 p.m till i finally get to spend some time with my family realized i forgot to work out that day didn't drink enough water then end up feeling like a horrible person and then maybe playing some video games for a couple hours at night before waking up and doing it all over again living the dream honestly not as exotic of a lifestyle as her as we can see and these females are not living on recruit difficulty here's another high effort extremely compelling tiktok that i was able to find on her page um i'm really hungover let me just start off like that but I keep seeing all these TikToks talking about the box in New York. Let me just say, the first time I went to the box, first of all, I was blacked out. I had no idea even what it was. Like, blacked out, you guys. I swung my leg up to get onto the table and I fell off. So that says enough. And then I'm just sitting there and all of a sudden I notice, you know, like drag queens. I'm like, oh, love, okay. And then I notice, you know, people with like bananas. Shut the fuck up! We really made people like this fame. It's just unbelievable. So I could rip on this all day long. Let's get back to the story here. So this TikToker matches with old man Matthew Perry there on the Raya dating app. She talked with him there for a little bit and then it moved over to FaceTime. And this is where she got the 15 minutes of fame that she got off of this. By leaking her conversation with him, she had her friend take a video of them FaceTiming and then essentially called him a creep. Article says a young TikTok user who went viral for posting a private FaceTime call she had with Matthew Perry says she released the video to expose how older men in Hollywood are taking advantage of younger women on dating apps. Now hold on, back up for a second. You surely did not just say that about the guy that you swiped right on on the dating app, right? I can't believe my eyes here. It says here, a lot of people were saying I'm a bully and mean for posting this and it made me feel kind of bad but at the same time, I feel like a lot of guys in Hollywood are talking to all these young girls and it's something that I think a lot of people should be aware of. So is she trying to play victim here or what? Like it's not illegal or weird to talk to somebody. Now, again, as we already established earlier in the video, breaking news, 50 year old millionaire wants to bang hot young girls young enough to be their daughters. That's nothing new, but you don't get to come on here, get swiped right on and then swipe right back, start messaging back and forth and then jump on FaceTime and then all of a sudden make it out to be that you're some kind of victim in this scenario. I'm smelling just a massive, massive case of demonic clout chasing at this point. The LA based personal assistant now 20 said she had matched with other celebrities before, but doesn't ever talk to older guys. Yeah, right. Except when you did, she probably thought she was going to come on here and match with Leonardo DiCaprio or someone like that. I guarantee you right now, she never would have come forward complaining about that right there. She got Walmart Leonardo DiCaprio and then she had to come on and cloud chase because of it. You, you truly hate to see all of this. However, she chose to chat with Perry because she thought, oh, this would be funny again. Right, right, right. I was not really thinking anything of it, she added, noting that while she recognized the famous actor, the Gen Seer had never even really watched Friends. Here's the part where it starts to get even more suspect. So while on the FaceTime call, she said, Perry suggested they ask each other questions questions back and forth to get to know each other better. The TikTok video shows a short clip of them playing 20 questions. She said none of the questions were sexual, but she did feel uncomfortable at times, especially since she said she was upfront about the fact that she was only 19. This isn't in the text here, but it should be because she continued to talk to him. She agreed to have the call. I don't think he minded that, she said. It felt kind of weird talking to someone my dad's age, and it just felt not right, especially when he knew how young I was. The blonde beauty claimed the actor asked her at one point, am I as old as your dad? So here's what I'm gathering from all of this. First of all, Matthew Perry, he ain't no dummy, all right? He knew as soon as you start sending messages, screenshots occur. So he said, you know what? Let's just take it right over to FaceTime. This man thought he was doing some bulletproof undercover work, but of course... You can't put it past girls like this. She had her friend take a video from across the room where he couldn't even see. He probably didn't know he was being recorded because why would he ever agree to do that? Thought he was being so slick and sly flying under the radar, but nope, he caught himself in 4K. But the other thing that I don't like about this is that 
She says blatantly, there was nothing sexual about it. So then why are you even talking about that? You know what I mean? Obviously, we know what his intentions were, right? I mean, believe me, I don't think I could talk to this girl for five seconds without losing a bunch of brain cells. So props to him for making it through that very, very hard endeavor. But it's not like he got on FaceTime with her and first thing he did was whip his dick out and start talking all this weird shit. You know what I mean? Seemed like he was trying to be funny about it. He was being a gentleman because he was hoping she was going to let him smash. I just did it more for the joke of it, which sounds mean, but I didn't think anything of it. She said of her decision to FaceTime, I thought it was more so innocent and harmless. Honestly, it's not really okay for these older guys to be talking to such young girls. And actually, in the eyes of the law, yes, <laughs> yes, it totally is. It's completely okay. Do some people find it weird? Myself included? Yeah, definitely, for sure. But that doesn't make it not okay. It doesn't make it a crime to do it. And to act like you were just forced into doing this FaceTime call when according to you, you did the whole thing for a joke anyway, is pretty shitty in my opinion, okay? You got that 15 minutes of fame you wanted, 19,000 followers on TikTok. One day, guys, one day, we will, I promise you, we will stop making stupid people famous. Anyway, you guys let me know what you thought about all this down in the comments below. I'm sure the fellas will have much to say about this, and I look forward to reading your comments as always. If you enjoyed the video, do not forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe for more awesome, amazing videos just like this. Turn your goddamn notifications so that you can be a part of the buzz every single time a new video goes live. A special thank you to my channel members as always for your extra support. You guys are the true MVPs. Check out Defy merch down below. Also links to Twitter, Twitch, my second channel. All that stuff is linked in the description. I will see you dudes in the next video love you bye stay safe fellas